So the impact of this standoff is having more profound effects on this year's national examination candidates. And it has been immediate and heavy. KTN's Masikandia spent the day with students who expect to sit for the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education, whose story captures the real situation in the schools. Mercy, what did they tell you? And more specifically, what did you see in terms of learning in the schools today? Yes, Linda, we did a spot check on some of the schools within Wasingishu County, in particular Eldora Town, and in most of these schools there was no one in class, either um, teachers, the principals and the head, head, head teachers had to source to the parents to come and, you know, oversee some of the activities, parents who sit in the committees, but there's no one in sight in terms of the students. What the teachers were saying started from the homes. No parent was sending their, their children to school lest they misbehave or not, and they're not accountable for their activities during the day. But in particular today, Linda, we focus on Sosiani Primary School. About uh, 30 children were in class today, but we spotlight on the story of one boy who has been nicknamed the governor, who beats all odds, and he knows that unlike his counterparts in private schools who are continuing their education, they have to learn uh, from each other to ensure that they do uh, their best uh, come the Kenya National Examinations in just two months. Take a look. It's been the same script, but a different cast. The script of the grass bearing the brand as two bulls fight. The teachers caught battle with the government and the effect it has on their students, in particular the national examinations candidates. Fifteen-year-old Vincent Otieno is the class prefect, nicknamed Governor. He's in class eight. Today, he steps up his role to that of a teacher. Tulisika pa by seven to kwa class, so ni kona because tulikuwa na hang hang outside. Ni kwa kwa kujendani because I'm the best in mathematics. Present ku exchange chana mbili tatu. Vincent is among the top students in his class. Mathematics is his favorite subject, so that's what he shares today with his peers. The national exams are just around the corner, and they have targets to meet. Kaza my target is to get 300, 300 and above. Lakini mimi kwanza ulio alimu amekuwa hivi absent. Si uzuri sana, because kama mimi nilikuwa nataka, so if this is a third term, third term ni fupi sana. So kama tungeza upata walimu wetu wange tufundisha mdele Because mwita gitamu nilikuwa ntaka mungu waki nisaidia Nipata 308 and above so that nendeka after a bit high school Out of the 165 registered candidates at Sosiani Primary School Only 36 came to school today And before midday Vincent heads home to read from home Here his mother ensures he studies no house chores until after the exam. Education will rid his family of trouble, make them live better lives. My mom wana nyeleza kwa mba kitu ya na nipatia sahizi ni elimu. Kwa sababu kwa maisha sasa bila elimu uwezi fanikiwa. Asipofanya mzuri ama asiposoma hii mule ya mwisho hii itakua ime aribu kila kitu hata penya meanzea na hata penya mifikia. Otieno's mother has been here before. Her seven children have all gone through public schooling. She knows too well the impact it has on their progress. Last year, strike ya mwisho. I think it was 2013 hapo, kitu kama hiyo, 14 hapo. Wanzo, yu nikuwa na msichana mwenye wa nafuata likuwa na soma risiko secondary hapa. Yu kitu ili affect ye, hata hakufanya mtiani mzuri. Paka akarudi, saa yata nimemueka kwa shuli ingina, anarudi tena kurudia fumbo kuenda kufanya. Staying at home or not being taught in school brings more trouble, she says, more than what meets the eye. Manene watoto wa kuendaga shuli wa narudi. Iyo pia inachangia tabia ingine nyesio mzuri kwa watoto. Kwa jila akifika pale akosi shule, akitoka pale hata kuja nyumbani direct, hata kuwa nasungwe kwa maduka, akitembea, hakikuwa kama choko. Labda anaomba chakula huko, na labda hata kwa shule se yenye yenye wameenda, kuna chakula wanakula. Haso wanasema badali ya kurudi nyumbani, ni, ni, ni malize tu masaa inje, duwe kifika juni, nifanya nini, ni rudi shule, tafadali, watu saidia. The serene environment or the disturbance of the chicken noise within the compound is what Otieno has to put up with until a solution between the teachers and government is found. In the meantime, the sky remains his limit.
tomorrow he'll teach his peers. After all, time, he says, waits for no man. That term is the shortest and most critical term, they tell me, because they will be sitting for their national examination. And despite the myriad of challenges offered by the free primary school education, including the industrial action being taken by teachers, for these candidates here, they tell me they will do all they can to ensure that they compete at best with their counterparts in private schools. Marcy Kandia Katian at Sosiani Primary School in the county of Wasingishu. So Linda, there you have it. That is a story shared by many parents here and students. Their hope is that teachers will actually come back to class as soon as possible. Linda. Indeed, Mercy Governor, they are doing a very good job. Tell me, did you get a chance to speak to any of the teachers on the ground in the school? What did they tell you? Yes, in fact... Uh, we spoke uh, on the side with some of the teachers. Uh, they are saying they want their rights. They have been waiting for far too long. In fact, having no issues if we interviewed the students or not. Linda, the teachers that we talked to are determined to get their salaries. In fact, they were joking that what they'll be doing is just queuing in the banks waiting for their salaries. Linda. Masikandia, thank you so much.